My friends, the fact that you are cleaning is the most important thing. I'm so proud of you. I'm inspired by you. I get all excited thinking about you cleaning with confidence. However, this is not a cleaning video. That's out the way. So the other day, I'm sitting down in my office about to write my next cleaning script when it hits me. I have left out some important safety information from this channel, especially for those of you living in or cleaning older homes. And it is that insidious and abhorrent A word, asbestos. So what is asbestos? I'm sure some of you probably have no idea, especially some of my younger viewers new to this racket of home ownership and housekeeping. So I've decided to do a video series on this topic because this is important safety information that you need to know. It could potentially, who knows, save your life one day. Asbestos is a fibrous mineral that comes out of the earth, 100% natural. It's been used in the construction of homes and buildings, amongst other things since like the early 1900s. The stuff is real strong. It's heat resistant, it's fire resistant, it's resistant to chemical corrosion, it's a great insulator. You can find it in certain types of vinyl floors, insulation, ductwork, concrete, siding, uh, roofing. You can also find it in popcorn ceilings, which I'd like to do a video on how to clean popcorn ceilings, but I do need to go over this information first. So what's the problem with asbestos? Well, the problem is, is that it's a carcinogen, and if you don't know what a carcinogen, carcinogen is, it basically means that it creates cancer. Now the problem with this stuff isn't with it just being in your house, like in your ceilings or in your ductwork or in your siding. The problem with asbestos is when it becomes disturbed. Now most of the times this applies to people who are renovating their homes but it can also apply to people who clean homes, especially for those of you who have popcorn ceilings and you want to clean them. The danger with this stuff, as I mentioned, is when it becomes disturbed and it becomes dust and gets airborne. And as I mentioned, asbestos is a fibrous mineral, so that dust is actually small little fibers that you breathe in and then they get stuck in your lungs and never dissolve. And over time, those fibers cause inflammation, scarring, and uh, damage to the lung cells, which eventually leads to cancer and other types of lung diseases. Specifically, the cancer mesothelioma, which you hear a lot about on TV because the lawyers are always talking about it. Asbestos can also cause um, lung diseases like COPD. This is just important information for those of you who do have dusty popcorn ceilings or uh, cobwebs all over them. You can't just go around with a broom and start brushing it and knocking them down without testing it first. You have to make sure that you're not going to cause harm to yourself or anyone else that live in the house. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in the next video is how to test to see if you have asbestos. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Thanks so much for checking out the video. This concludes video number one. If you've ever had asbestos in your home, or you have any asbestos related stories, I would love to hear from you guys. Leave them down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to check those out. Until next time, stay tuned for video number two in this series. Me and Mr. Fuzzball signing off. And just remember, asbestos is not the bestos.